Hey guys, it's Randy with Lobok LS here again and just wanted to shoot a quick video just to kind of give you guys an update on the status of the channel and uh, the lack of videos recently. So I uh, just thought I'd sit down today and have a little chat with you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, basically I haven't put out a, a bunch of videos lately and that's mainly because I haven't been working on the, the Lobok truck or any LS or car related stuff recently. Um, um, basically, I kind of got to a point, the, the OG low buck truck um, is running good, working good, I still have it, but it just hasn't been a priority lately. I haven't been that enthusiastic about it. Um, it's at the point where I'm pretty sure it would run an 1150 in the quarter, um, like my original goals for that project but uh, it's still got the original 4L60E in it. I did do that transmission rebuild uh, on it a while back, but I'm at the point where I feel like if I take it to the track and try to run that 1150, I'm probably gonna blow up the transmission. So it really needs a 4L80E upgrade, and it's not that I don't have the money to do that right now, it's that I've, uh, Kind of choosing to spend my money on other things like you can see the the toys behind me here are kind of what i've been more enthusiastic about uh, lately so that's kind of what i've spent the the spring and summer uh, has been uh, on dirt biking and doing stuff outside um, i actually started out this spring um, the plant i work at got sold so i had some like wellness money that i had to had to use up so I ended up buying uh, an old dirt bike it was a uh, 1997 uh, Suzuki RM125 I'll put a picture up here for a couple seconds and you can see the, the before and after um, the before is the picture where it's all black and uh, looks kind of crappy and I put new plastics on it it mechanically it was good like the engine ran good and stuff but I put a new chain and sprocket new plastics new graphics so I, I ended up buying that bike for 1300 which the company reimbursed me for. And I ended up selling it for 2500 so I made a pretty good profit on it. And so I took that 2500 and bought this bike. Um, it's a Honda CRF 230M and it's kind of a dual sport super motard bike. Um, but I found that it didn't really uh, suit my uh, my riding style i went out with some buddies from work and uh, they all have like ktms and proper dirt bikes and so i just couldn't keep up the tires aren't, aren't really meant for uh, serious off-road riding and there's not much suspension travel and it doesn't have much power so i ended up buying this one which is a yamaha wr 250f so that's kind of what i've been choosing to spend my money on lately um, and I didn't make videos about that process because I figured most of you guys are here for the, the LS content and the, the car stuff. So I figured you guys wouldn't be interested in that. So, But now I'm at the point where, uh, you know, I, I want to do more of that kind of thing. And another thing I want to get into is, uh, I don't know if you want to call it overlanding or... I, I'm not going to call it van life, but one, one thing I want to do next summer is uh, head up to uh, the Yukon and possibly Alaska um, with my son Ryan. Um, that, that's a trip. When I was 14, I went up to the Yukon and into like Skagway, Alaska and stuff with my dad and had a lot of good memories from that. And my dad has passed on now, so... Um, I want to kind of do a similar trip with my son um, next year so I want to rig up over the winter I'm, I'm still not sure what it's gonna look like but uh, um, either put like a camper on the back of the, the low buck shop truck my 2007 GMC Sierra or uh, either sell it and buy like a Suburban and rig up the Suburban that we can sleep in the back of but basically before next summer I want to rig up uh, some kind of vehicle that my son and I can sleep in and go up. Uh, he wants to go to uh, Dawson City in Alaska and see where, where the gold rush happened and all that. And I'd like to go up even a little further, go up the Dempster Highway to uh, Anubik and Tuktiaktuk and 
there's a bunch of old, uh, like go up the, the western part of the Cannell Road, which was an old road they used in World War II for, uh, um, they, there was like an old pipeline that they used to get oil from Norman Wells to uh, Whitehorse, I think, and it only, only lasted for like a year or something, but it was one of them wartime projects that the government spent a bunch of money on. And, I guess if you go up there, you can still see all these old World War II trucks and pumping stations and stuff. So um, that's kind of what I've uh, been into lately. So, and yeah, again, I didn't make videos uh, because, uh, you know, I kind of figured you guys are here for the LS stuff and uh, wouldn't necessarily be interested in that kind of thing. But now it's gotten to the point where I kind of have to choose. Um, I'm not really all that enthusiastic about the uh, the Turbo LS stuff right now um, just because it's gotten to the point where it's not really low buck anymore um, if I want my truck to be fast and reliable I've got to spend a bunch more money on it so I'm not going to sell the truck or anything um, and I still want to do a 4L80E conversion on it sometime in the future but it's just not something I want to spend a bunch of time or money on right now. Um, there is still on the Lobuck shop truck. Um, I'll have a few videos coming up on that. Uh, on using the BCX Nano for uh, doing diagnostics and that kind of thing. Um, I've also got some BCM issues. So I'll show you guys how to uh, program a BCM using the BCX Nano. And then I think... You know, I'll still have some uh, LS related content, but you will start seeing some, uh, some dirt biking content and some, uh, what do you want to, I guess you could call it overland content where uh, we're rigging up a vehicle to, uh, to sleep in and go have some adventures in. So uh, that's kind of the state of the channel. Just wanted to, uh, I don't know, some of you guys had messaged me and stuff wondering, wondering what's going on. So just figured I'd take this time to, uh, Shoot a little update and have a little chat with you guys. Um, I hope that's something that interests you guys as well. Uh, I, I hope you guys won't uh, abandon the channel or anything. Um, but uh, again, I'm not gonna. I can't force you to watch if it's something you're not interested in. So um, I'm just kind of pretty sure I've got ADD or something because I, I guarantee in six months or a year I'll be all enthusiastic about the low buck truck again and do the 4L80 swap and take it to the track and stuff like that but right now that's just not where my enthusiasm and my my interest is so uh, I'm just gonna follow my enthusiasm and uh, we'll shoot some videos about it along the way and uh, hope you guys follow along with me and, uh, that's all for now hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy the COVID thing is kind of starting to uh, I don't know if subside is the right word up here but Kids are back to school. It's not normal school, but uh, kids are back to school. But anyways, hope you guys are all doing well, that your families are safe and healthy. And uh, that's all for now. We'll talk to you on the next one. Bye for now.